Luke Smith, the creative director over at Bungie, behind Destiny, was in a recent interview. As a matter of fact, it was extremely fucking cringeworthy, to say the very least, when discussing the future DLC, The Taken King. Now, this was an interesting interview, and cringeworthy like I said, but it was amazing to see somebody so far up their own ass. To the point that he basically disappeared into himself, into a fucking void, known as Brown Eye. It was absolutely fucking appalling to see the way that he was discussing the absolute abuse of the pre-existing fan base by saying that they're going to have to spend a shit ton of money, buy things that they already have, to be able to get this downloadable content. But you see, according to him, it's cool. You can buy all that stuff, and that's fine. I'll dance around this whole bullshit issue. I'll dance around it as much as I can, because you will be throwing money at the screen, according to him. You'll be throwing all your money at it. I think that this is a slap in the face of anybody that's been part of the servers, been part of the game since day fucking one. That you're charging them through the nose. Why isn't this all separate? Why? Oh, oh man, those emotes, they're gonna be so fucking amazing when you're in the middle of a raid. Oh my god, it'll be so great, right? I'll be throwing all my money at the screen. I have to pay $80 to get them. I mean, worse yet, when, whenever you go and take into account the amount of money that this all costs, over in like the UK and Europe and shit, this costs as much as the fucking game. But you're getting way less content. If you're gonna be charging that much, okay, $80 for that content, and then compared to the game, I should be getting the game's worth of content through this expansion, through this downloadable content. Wouldn't that make sense? But you're not you're getting a very marginal amount of content by comparison to what you got initially when you first got the game. And he tried defending it, saying, well, this is more than all the other DLC that we've offered up to date. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. This is the first real expansion that you've had to date. So, no fucking duh. We're aware of that. But the pricing of this is ludicrous and fucking ridiculous. And the, the idea that this could potentially get worse just keeps coming to mind. I mean, when I think about the idea that you're going to be charging this much, I mean, for a new player, this is fine, but for all the pre-existing players, keep in mind, that's essentially what this rant is about, is the already firmly established fan base who's been there from day one or from very fucking early on. For any new player, this is great. Go and grab up all this shit. That's awesome. That That's totally a good way to do it. But why isn't this shit all separated for all the people that are already there? Why aren't you giving away some of this shit as a thank you? That's a better fucking question, because this doesn't cost you shit. And the amount of people that'll be thankful for it, that'll utilize it, they'll appreciate it, they'll be able to fucking keep coming back time and time again. Because they gave a damn about you, and, well, guess what? You showed that you gave a damn back. This is fucking dumb. I mean, it, it's not to say that the company does dumb shit all the time. No, they, they've done quite a few amazing things and great things and even kind things. But this is fucking idiotic. I don't give a shit. This is greed at its finest and at its purest. There's no other way around it. And, and they're trying to say, oh, well, you see how you know, the pre-existing fans, they'll, they'll totally begin even better stuff. But you still have to buy shit you already own. Why the fuck are you buying shit you already own? You're only getting scraps of stuff that you need, and you have all this extra shit. What the fuck are you going to do with it? Why do you have it? Again. Uh, doubling down on stuff, I just, I really like having all these extras. Why? <laughs> Ask Bungie. Hey, g give me a fucking break. Th this is dumbassery. That's all there is to it. This is greed. That's all there is to it. And this shouldn't be happening. That's all there is to it. And anybody out there that's a big fan of Destiny and Bungie and shit, and you're gonna be their fucking, their white knights and their fucking saviors and come to their fucking defense, shut the fuck up. Give me a fucking break here. You can't sit there and defend all, all this paltry ass bullshit. You know, this dude got a, an interview and made a fucking ass of himself. And made an ass of the company, frankly, because he's a big-time representative of the company and of the product. Shouldn't you hold them at some kind of level of, Man, they should be fucking up. I, I actually value this company, so I don't want to see that happen. Sh shouldn't you think that? It's just, fuck, man. I hate White Knights. Anyway... So, opinions and thoughts? Do you think it's worth it? Think it's worth all that extra money? All the people that are playing Destiny right now, do you think this is cool? Do you think this is fair? Hell, how about this? 
maybe the folks at Bungie will hear all the outcries of the community considering the fact that Destiny is a very community driven game, maybe they'll understand the error of their ways and go and right this wrong. Because that's totally plausible. I mean, anybody can go and make a mistake and realize, yeah, we kind of goofed and fucked up, let's go and fix this and apologize. They can do that, and if they do that, by all means, I fucking applaud their efforts. If not, they stick to their guns and they keep on riding this side. It's basically just showing that they do not respect their fan base and they do not respect you. And in no way should you be defending people that do stuff like that because they are a business. At the end of the day, they are a business that creates entertainment. And if the entertainment is ripping you off, what the fuck does that say about you? If you're gonna sit there and condone that, that's, that's dumb. Fuck that. Anyway. This has been Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.